Thank you very much for talking to the communications team of the West Africa Civil Society Institute. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Mida Saibu. I work for the Regional Advisory Information and Network System, RAINS for, for short. RAINS uh, works in the Northern Region as a non-governmental organization, delivering program interventions in education, livelihood creation, and child protection. Now, we are here to discuss, you know, sustainability for RAINS, um, but can you just tell us what do you understand by sustainability? My understanding about sustainability is basically this, like how organization can stay in business and remain relevant, pro providing services to its beneficiaries, relevant services to its beneficiaries. Oh, great. That's quite a nice way of, of simplifying it. And we look at the national sustainability strategy. Um, what do you think about the National Sustainability Strategy for Civil Society Organizations? I think the National Sustainability Strategy is really, really very, it's a, a crucial document for civil society organizations. In it are relevant information for civil society, be it um, local organization, be it community-based organization, faith-based organization, to reflect on, on their own organization, their practices, the, the policies that they have, so as to make themselves more relevant in the, in, in the civil society um, sector. Because um, it, it actually, the, the, the strategy practically digests how the development sector, especially the funding uh, uh, landscape, is becoming increasingly very, very strict. And, if you look at the document, you would actually be able to do some contextual analysis of the funding uh, landscape and be able to internalize it within your organization. So for me, I think that the issues being raised in the document is really very relevant for our quest to become sustainable as civil society organizations. You have been able to peruse through these documents um, and had some thoughts around how to make that document relevant for RAINS. What piece or pieces of advice do you have for civil society organizations um, to use this document and domesticate it for their um, sustainable growth? Yeah. So the highlights that I pick from this document has to do with uh, the fact that sustainability uh, moves beyond or is far more than just financial sustainability. It has to do with a, a whole lot of uh, issues about the organization. It is uh, driving us or it is making us to reflect and then to, uh, come out with a holistic way of making the, our organization sustainable. So beyond financial sustainability, uh, you, you also have to deal with operational sustainability, identity sustainability, and intervention sustainability. And what all this is telling us is to be to position ourselves in such a way that we become uh, relevant and actually recognizable we, we, uh, in the society. We should be known as an organization for some time. We should, we should have a niche for ourselves. Beyond that, we need to also have relevant programs. We, our programs should be relevant to the people and communities that we are working for and also our systems and procedures should be grounded in such a way that whatever as an organization you keep on running and, uh, irrespective of who is in the organization at any given point in time you should they, they, you should have a situation whereby at any point in your organization the, the systems and procedures should be run regardless of whoever is running the organization at any point in time, regardless of which staff is in place. But if the systems are so solid and grounded, anybody who comes in, any, any, any person at the hands of affairs should be able to move the organization to the next level. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.